Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm State Representative Mick Devon, and um, I'm here to proudly present to you a joint resolution from the legislature that went through the went through the House of Representatives and the Senate without anyone standing up and speaking against it. It went under the hammer. It's considered a unanimous support. This has been a bipartisan effort from day one. I got this language. I went to the Senate president, Senate, uh, Senator Thibodeau. I worked with his staff. We worked out language that everyone could agree on. I then went and got bipartisan support, Democrats, Republicans, and independents to, to sponsor this. We then brought it into the House. There wasn't anyone that stood up against it. It went into the Senate. The same thing happened. The, the main legislature is sending the strongest um, signal we can to President Trump and Secretary Zinke that the state of Maine is not interested in offshore drilling. And I'm not going to read, read to you the entire um, joint resolution. I'm going to read the title, and then I'm going to uh, point out just a couple of, of facts for you. It's a joint resolution memorializing the President of the United States and the United States Congress to exclude the state of Maine from offshore oil and gas drilling and exploration activities. I just want to throw out a few things here. Um, first of all, there are over 45,000 jobs that depend on our coast, and well over $2.3 billion. As Mr. Christian Porter has already mentioned, there's a recent study that was done by Bates, I think it was Bates uh, College, that demonstrated that the lobster industry alone is worth $1.5 billion. Why would we ever mess with that? Um, there, 65% of the, the people that work on the coast work in tourism and recreation. There's no one that comes to the state of Maine to the coastline to eat a chicken sandwich. <laughs> if we don't maintain our pristine coast, we might as well pack it up and become part of Massachusetts again because we're not going to be able to survive. Thank you very much.